find me, find me. Finally, though, of course, we're back with another pretty quick um, to come out of the deal. I probably won't spend too long on this, though, because it's pretty late at night and stuff like that for me, of course. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy your day and stuff like that, day, night, wherever you are in the world and stuff like that, of course. Let's get it started. Again, the video will be really short, though. I won't spend too long on it. But we have the 24th or 24th. 40, oh, I can't see. Um, 41st. Really worth saying that. 41st Ultraman coming up for JP. I won't go for all the awakening because that awakenings. Because um, I want to pro I, I don't want to stuttering too much. I started my legend video, my breakdown for the super and the guy super video. To, wait, wait, but yeah, um, I, I feel like I lose my voice a little bit, so I did take a long break. I recorded like at what, like seven? I was gonna record like at eight, but I took a really long break. Um, eight that rhymed. Okay, I said that, that was good. I can't think. I can't remember now. Um, I took a break, a very long break. Whatever, whatever I said. But yeah, we got new awakening with new units and stuff like that. I'm gonna go over them because I did not previously. So I know by the time it goes up, World Tremor will not be live. Probably about within a day's time, maybe. Maybe like a couple hours, like 14 to 15 hours, I upload this. Um, because I want to um, make a video for it. Because I didn't make a video for these guys at all. And I wanted to make a full breakdown. I just didn't even want to wait for World Tremor. I might as well just do it while they're up here early and stuff like that for you guys. So I don't, so I don't have to wait on World Tremor day or whatever. Because a lot of people go like, oh, Wait until War Tournament to do it. <laughs> no, I just again I just want to take this out early too because um I was like I was like I got really nothing to record tomorrow. For me it's just gonna be like Thursday, so by the time it goes up it's gonna be a Thursday, uh, morning afternoon. I do whenever I upload this. Um but for me though, again I'm yeah, it's like I'm, yeah, I can take a break anytime, so um but then on Friday I think I got like two things to record. I still need to record go on Duck Confess. The 350 Duck Confess, I think I need to still record those just cause to give them a full thousand of like my final really good thoughts on the down celebration. I might do it tomorrow too. I could. I might think about it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about it a little bit. I'm a little still stuff. Yeah, we got a little awakening and stuff like that. I knew young Nappa, uh, you know, like did it. Time for Doken to do it. Um, I feel like Doken could have did it last year a little bit though, but at the same time, this is actually not that bad either. Um, again, like I said, young Nappa, <laughs> really, really funny. This has a hair and stuff like that. Again, as a Walter my prize, pretty funny. I feel like that's more of an April Fool's kind of thing. I feel like it. I'll do a couple of clowns and stuff like that. Thank you, thank you, Garage, for that stupid clown thumbnail from the um, freaking Legends Breakdown. Uh, that was funny. I still didn't watch the video. That's so funny. But yeah, we got Hits Awakening. I love Hit, though, of course. Any Hit good, Hit Cars Awakening. I heard Team's actually pretty good, though, as well. I didn't hear that. I, like, I heard, like, I, I've seen them in action and stuff like that, of course. Oh, yeah, this is something else I want to talk about. Um, yeah, as well, Tournament Dunes are coming out, of course, in the form for the 41st. I was actually still confused about the World Tournament stuff. Yeah, it's pretty easy to kind of understand. Like, for Gold Boy, this will be, for example, um, I actually meant to put this up right here. For World Tournament and stuff like that, how the Vikings work, a lot of people, a lot of people are still actually confused about that. So, this is how it works. Uh, whatever Awakening comes out for that World Tournament, Gold Boy will get that. The Gold Boy JP will get that. Like, for example, this is the next World Tournament Gold Boy get, the Gold Boy's going to get. They're going to get the course, Cell Awakening, the Tech Cell Awakening, which actually is pretty good. Um, Global will get that one for the next World Tournament. I believe right now they're on their um, 37th. Again, we gotta, you know, cool off and stuff like that World Tournament get away. Because, um, mostly because, you know, at the Down Celebration, they don't really do a tournament. They do it like every like, couple of months, like two or three months or whatever. But this one specifically for Sales Awakening, this will come out on the 2038 World Tournament. Though. So no matter what, 38th World Tournament is gonna be sticking to that. I think it's also like an ant at something. I understand like my OG Dragon Ball. I can't remember her name. That's how much I forgot. I don't remember her name. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, though, I don't remember her name at all. But yeah. And then on top of that, um, like I said, like the, I think the last World Tournament for Bubble, the 37th half, like the, I know the AGL Gohan or Dragon Ball Z, then the Goku outfit during like, the whole Saiyan training arc. It doesn't really feel like weird for stuff in there. They go home and it's like some kids in like a dinosaur. I don't know. The anime is real. Kids just watch anime. But on top of that, also, um, to think of it, um, um, it was the, um, Chi Chi as well from like OG Dragon Ball and I think Grandpa Go Angel Grandpa Gohan. I don't know how you want to go with it, Grandpa Gohan. They called him that before, you know, the, the old Angel everything. Um, that was also a part of the last one tournament though. So that always stuck with JP, Pacific Global. I think it came out global, um, like last year in October for our Charles. Cause then the Charles came out and cool, got a whole. Yeah, download within the, within the whole kind of button and stuff like that, so it's pretty good. So, of course, onto units. I think I'm going long enough to talk about the units and stuff like that. I gotta go over them pretty quick. So, you guys don't have to sit here anymore. You guys are like, oh, just skip to the good stuff. Again, I can do it anyway. So, yeah. Again, I wanna make a proper video for all these guys breaking them down. Cause I did do I did it for like last year for like the Mecha, like the Mecha, like the Mecha Frieza 
like Age of Vegeta and the thing, Age of Vegeta Awakening and the Vegeta 8 Awakening. Vegeta Awakening, one of the two. Um, sorry about that, as my mom, but that always happens. Okay, so on the Napa, so like that, of course, um, Team Napa, Young Napa, it doesn't matter, it's called either or. So, of course, it's intent key to everything up 50%. Again, these leaders are always trash, so it gets crap. Rather, it's attack defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. I guess pretty solid. Um, attack defense for 70%. Plus additional attack for 70%. We're performing the super attack. Okay, that's pretty good. And then another att additional attack defense plus um, 40%. Each attack, uh, with each attack received up to 80%. Height of additional attack plus 78%. And guards all attacks. That guy's pretty okay. Again, again, when he's awakening, when he awakens, I feel like that's going to be like at least 90 or 80%. Probably again, they're probably not getting too much from the awakening. Napa seems pretty good. I feel like he can get some pretty good stuff off though. But again, he's a free to play card and stuff like that. And those stats are really good though. But again, he's a free to play unit and stuff like that, of course. Though. So you gotta still factor that in regardless, though, of course. But yeah, his links are, of course, um, Zane Warrior Race, um, Brutal Beatdown, Toughest Nails, Berserk Burr, Over 9000, Shocking Speed. Also, I finally learned the contents of Over um, 9000. I think it's everybody who was impressed by the Kaioken. Like Ginyu, I think, was impressed by the Kaioken. Of course, Goku and Dapper were, you know, were 9,000. Like, even Chapa was kind of a little bit shocked too, because, um, a little bit, like, shocking scary a little bit, because of Goku going cock and blue. So, that definitely does make sense. I want the context more. Um, <laughs> it's somehow not saying as it, I guess, when Kyle King comes blue. <laughs> I don't know. Um, categories are pretty saying, Jeff and Cock Wars, Fish Island Wars. Okay, now that I got much of the categories, but Fish Island, again, any, any of all those categories, getting some more help. Now, but again, but I think after he wakens, he's gonna be pretty good. But right now, he's pretty okay. I feel like he can get a lot, get more potential off. Again, with the, you know, Rizzi has said, attack and defense up, and getting more additions with that on top of that. I feel like going for additional will probably be a little bit better. Honestly, with this guy, because he, he can raise attack one turn, for one turn. Great, greatly, actually. It might not be enough though, but I feel like that can at least maybe get, get you by, but again, his links and stuff like that aren't going to be really good. Uh, he gets some links for the old Nappa stuff, and then they can link up with 10s half these probably aren't really going to be really good. I haven't seen them at all myself yet. But again, um, again, links, stuff like that, but they're always trash. Um, it's like, like, well, you're doing like with a Vegeta or like a Pure Sans team, support, whatever. Otherwise, he's going to be pretty solid, I feel like, in uh, my opinion. Uh, I mean, he's pretty okay now, but I feel like after he awakens, again, I can talk about Napa all day. Like, so he has so much good potential once he awakens and stuff like that. And yeah, I probably say, like, what, maybe like next year in a couple of months, or probably whenever. Because they usually do, like, a wait, like, a whole year for these guys to get awakened. So, um, I guess we'll be back next year with all this info. So, yeah. Um, of course, um, Tian right now, so he does, um, of course, I think the same thing. Um, but it's a thing of 70% 70, 70 for STR types. Again, this, these are scrolls with that. Uh, his, his passive is raises defense for one turn. Speed damage and lowers enemies' attack defense. Pretty good stuff right there. Uh, raising defense and of course lowering attack defense. Pretty good stuff right there. Um, what does passive do? Um, oh, there's a technique to win the world tournament. I was like, dang. Plus two key attack defense plus 180. Plus additional defense plus 120. Uh, when raising only one enemy, sends an attack enemy for two turns. Attack was 120 tank. That's crazy. <laughs> and defense was 30 with longest super attack. Only once. Okay, that's crazy. Um, so you better, I guess you can just kind of like keep additional attacking and kind of rack that up, rack that up in, um, kind of like the one side whenever, when you can super attack for the following turn. Yeah, it's not bad, it's kind of like a one gamble thing, it makes sense because he is using the drive, even though that's the end of my though. Uh, Lens of Ukraine School, Telepathy, uh, that does like Crown Trash, and Fighter, Combo Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Tracking Speed, um, World Tournament Category, uh, yeah, yeah. And shocking, shocking speed, sharing limit. Uh, shocking speed won't be that bad, but you don't really see a lot of OG Dragon Ball units using that. But I think go, the ink does go because Goku has that. He might. I think I, I just like to put him for the down server, and I did not have him before. That's a good one for me. Um, I don't know, again, a lot of these units aren't really, like, no one ever really uses like OG, OG Dragon Ball units, like OG Dragon Ball units in general. Well, no, 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 I'm not gonna say that though, because they are all pretty good in their own unique, different ways. They're actually all really solid. I'm not gonna say nobody uses them though, but. I'll make it all be really good on the same team, probably. Again, they have like, you know, just kind of like little stuff though. Categories are Water Tournament, Dragon Ball Saga, so Bond and Master Disciple, pretty good. Um, Front and Trunk Card, Earthlings, and Bonds of, uh, of Friendship. And you already know the category now. It makes sense because Image Outsource makes sense. Um, but yeah, okay, TNT got here, because I thought it was going to be like, it's literally just, it's like literally Goku, Krillin, or literally, like Goku and Krillin, or literally one of that category. But TNT doesn't seem that bad though. Again, like OG Dragon Ball, like no one's going to really run that team like that. 
Uh, I did not mean to say it like that though, because like the about Super Battle Road Gohan, um, well, my Goku is really good, but you do have to get Super Battle Road and get the easy aid, and that's really difficult. But I mean, the regular version, not easy aid, is still good. It's pretty much the same unit, just a little bit buffed up, but nothing really crazy. You really don't need to easy aid them now. You're, you're really talking about shooting on them, like the NK Goku. Again, you could probably win the on there, but um, I don't know, because I mean, just, you know, he's, I mean, when you're finding one enemy again, a super battle road probably not gonna say that as much though, but um but doing the attack plus two hundred and twenty in defense but thirty percent when doing the super attack only once. Yeah, it's only a one time gamble and good luck with that though. It makes sense because he is using the tribeam and stuff like that. It looks like some cell saga though, but he doesn't really do Dragon Ball though, because he has um, got the Dragon Balls and a Red Bull Adventure and those basically are Dragon Ball links, so that definitely does make sense. What was it around time you fought Goku, I think? Like, I like the card art though, fam. That was actually really good. I love also love his card art though. Her hits, like, hits. I saw a little bit. I didn't see his full passive, but I saw his passive. I think it's like a perk up bomb. But Tia doesn't seem that bad either, though, like I said. We're playing one enemy again. Probably the Joy Goku event. Um, it's probably, probably gonna be really good there, or like, you know, GTG or whatever. You'll probably test him out there, see how he really is gonna be able to find one enemy, but it's a battle road. You're not gonna be, unfortunately, just find that one opponent. And even then, like, that one opponent has a lot of HP. This guy. But really won't probably really 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 want to spot against them though, but whatever. I really want to go with that. Of course, on to hit the last unit, I really want to go over. So yeah, AGL, yeah, some leaders going stuff like that, of course, but everything for AGL key 2 and everything was 70%. But typical stuff. Uh, Zuber attack is, of course, crazy attack and causes supreme damage with the medium chance of stunning, um, or something enemy, whatever. His passive, holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Paragraph 1 passive. Attack defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack. Death give it hundred percent. We're doing this over attack plus additional attack plus sixty percent. And I tend to stun the attack enemy as the first attack on the turn. The U chance of being enemies attacked and super attacks and attacked if enemies attacked my um attack attack my swing percent for two turns as a second or third attack on the turn. His links are of course Supreme Warrior in experience fighters, cold judgment and fighter shocking speed warrior universe six, shocking limit, his categories are universal of all saga. Even though this is like from the I think I really think he's literally from the, um, I guess we're just going back to Dragon Ball Super stuff because we literally had just, like, no good past Kefla and this guy, yeah, they know what they're doing. They, you know, part two being a LR guy, Super Saiyan 2, whatever Goku, the fought Kefla. I don't know. This is always kind of really a celebration because last year with STR Kefla, literally almost a year ago in May, literally around this time, May-ish, we got, like, uh, of course, you Goku, then we got Kefla, like, yeah, they, even before that, we were getting, like, Jiren and, like, Kakamu Goku and Evolution with TLR, so, yeah. I know I ever really talked about them. They're actually pretty good though, but no one ever like really talks about them that much though. Um Universe of Bomb Saga, Universe 6, Target Goku, uh, Robert Grove, uh, Brace Trap in the Border, Legendary Existence. I think that makes sense because hit is a legendary assassin. They call him like uh, you know, no hit man. I'm just joking though. But yeah, hit is insane. Again, he's probably insane. I wanna say really better than Tian in Napa. He's easily probably the best batch of units out of this, in general in my opinion though. Not just saying as a hit fan or whatever. He's good. Again, he's really good. Like, they made him really, really good. I don't know what they're going to think of this man. Anyway, because they made Tien and Napa, and you see Hit is like, what the heck, man? Like, this is insane. Like, he's going to be good. Again, but besides, you know, attack, you know, attack, you know, minus attack plus 20% for two turns for the first and second attacker. You're going to see that, though, but it's not going to be really useful. But getting, like, you know, more additional attacks with guys going to be really good. Super attack, so going for additional for this guy. Yeah, he'll be good. I'm probably going to go build him on global. Because I think I have him, I think, almost all dupes. I can have the ultra me units. I pretty much have him, like, day one. I usually get them, I get them up to, like, 90%. I do try to go, like, four or five copies, but I can't. Like, more tournament on global, I cannot anymore because it's so competitive and so crazy now. But overall, though, I mean, it's good. Again, I'm going to go ahead and build him on global so we can do stuff like that, though. That's a, uh, this is a true potential hit, but um, true potential hit, hit, there you go. Tre tremendous potential hit. The, par uh, the parlor of universe. <laughs> what the heck is it passing Um, kind of funny though, but yeah, again, it's a first attacker, attacker, you're really gonna see that though. But, and like my attack was 1%, um, again, you're not gonna really see it though, but, but let me see, um, this additional attack defense is 100%, super attack. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Um, but yeah, that's for the tech myself on that. Yeah, if you're definitely gonna have a hit those. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be in there. I was like, what the heck was that? I was like, oh yeah, six or door next to me. So yeah, um, pretty simple with turn units again. Hit's probably easily the best one. Tien again, pretty okay. Sort of battle road, maybe. Mm -hmm. And Napa, yeah, had some more potential power actually awakening and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty much gonna go in there. I think I did a lot, so yeah.
So you guys are though, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great day. Make sure to stay safe, watch your questions. God bless all of you if you're going out and over meds. Really, really need to. So what do I think about Lazoon and Fellow Of course, you like to hate it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to tell you. I said, you like to hate it. It's other than the. So yeah, um, I think it's good. Again, Nappa, pretty okay. I feel like Adrian's Awakening is going to be a lot better. <laughs> Easily the best unit. Tien, again, really situational if you're doing like all that extra stuff, but. Nothing really impressive for me though, but I do like him though. He's the best all of them. He's gonna be insane. But, but it's the first and second attacker in a turn. Not really, but it's the first attacker is gonna be really good. Again, it's the first and second attacker, third and third, second and third. I mean, not gonna really help you out that much though, but yeah. See you guys later though. Okay, nope.